Honda, they've just revealed their $18,000 electric car. It's small. I think it looks good for a very, very boxy small car, but it's very practical. This is the kind of car I think more people around the world should drive. We don't all need big cars. Some of us do, if you're doing stuff like putting surfboards in the car, etc. But I think the average person could probably would probably be better off with a smaller EV like this. The Honda N1e starts at just over 18,000 US dollars in Japan. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. In the US, the average price for an electric car in the month of August was $57,400. The average price for a Tesla was $54,000. The average selling price for a non-Tesla was $60,000 US dollars in August. Now, I get that they're bigger cars, they've got bigger batteries on average, but that's still a big difference to 18,000. Anyway, I think these small EVs would be a really good idea in cities all around the world, particularly as a second car for a lot of families as well. The N1e, there is also a commercial van version of this car you can buy in Japan. And apparently this is actually based on the N1, which is a gasoline powered car. A Honda have come out and made made it to kind of look very, very similar because it's based on the same platform. But it, I think it looks good at the front. The sides of the car are a little bit um, average looking in comparison to the concept. The concept looked absolutely awesome. Had these flared arches, it looked great. But anyway, it's still kind of a cute little car. It comes with a very small battery. It's a 29.6 kilowatt hour battery. And that's the same battery as what is in the electric van. That means it delivers what, what Honda calls class leading range of 295 kilometers. That's 183 miles of range. Apparently that's more than Nissan Sakura EV, which is a similar size car to this. That is Japan's best selling electric car. Its WLTP range, the Sakura, is only 112 miles or 180 kilometers. So this new Honda has yeah, a lot more range. I mean, that's an extra 73 or 71 miles of range in comparison to the Nissan Sakura. So this car's getting a lot of range from a 29.6 kilowatt. I mean, let's just round that up to 30. From a 30 kilowatt hour battery getting 183 miles or 295 kilometers of range, it seems very efficient. I'm not sure it's going to get that in the real world, but it's still a good number. Now, Honda said that they wanted to make sure this vehicle had enough space to make it fit for everyday use. And so they developed a thinner battery pack that lies beneath the floor. And therefore, it gets a frunk and also a, a pretty decent sized boot for a car this size. To give you some context. In Japan, mini EVs account for 40% of new car sales in Japan. 40%. But in spite of that, Tesla, their EV sales in Japan this year have grown by 87%, 87%. And they are about to surpass Nissan as the best-selling EV brand in Japan, Tesla. Um, very different kind of cars, isn't it? Very, very different um, concept to buy a Tesla versus a one of these mini box EVs. Now, with more range, interior space, Honda, they're saying, well, you know, we think this car is going to sell really well. Keep in mind, they do have to compete with BYD. BYD sells a lot of EVs in Japan. And Toyota are also launching their new version of their micro EV. I really like these cars. I mean, yeah, they're weird looking, but I think they're really practical. And as I said before, this is the perfect car for a city driving, perfect car as a second car. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Honda's new mini electric car is shockingly good. I'm surprised this is actually a proper EV that I think a lot of people will buy, especially if it's priced well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Honda. This is their new EV. They just revealed this today. And we know a few details about it. We know the size, the range it has. We know it has vehicle to load technology that's been approved from Honda is great i mean no one would have expected that i think that's a, a huge surprise the range is um not awesome but um it's not too bad first of all 
It has 47 kilowatt. That's 63 horsepower. Doesn't sound like much, but I mean, this is not a particularly big car. It has 150 miles of range. That's 245 kilometers. So what else do we know about this vehicle? Well, for one, it was just revealed in Japan. And these cars in Japan are, well, they're the most popular type of car you can buy. These small key cars, they call them. It's a boxy car, and I think that makes it kind of practical. You know, they have a sh pretty short bonnet, so it's sort of basically a box that I think looks not bad for a box, but, you know, 3.4 metres long. That's how big it is, 3,400 millimetres long. That's 134 inches, and, yeah, I mean, 50 kilowatt DC charging apparently, which is – bit disappointing but i think the range isn't too bad 152 miles of range 245 kilometers that's not too bad now there isn't too bad 152 miles of range 245 kilometers that's not too bad now there is a van version of this it's called the n van uh, and that's actually not a bad car as well i'd say but interior wise what do you all, what do you guys think about the interior i think it looks very 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 budget surprisingly budget but um kind of weirdly retro cool i don't know why weirdly guys i just did a video today on a new electric car or an updated version of an ev you can buy in china it's literally one third of the estimated price of this car one third it has a big touch screen using it utilizes deep seek ai uh, it has similar range to this vehicle so these japanese micro cars they're, they're pretty cool but chinese ones are even better and they are much 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 cheaper so that's what it has to compete with but in china there's not a whole lot of chinese key cars yet there will be pretty soon though one pedal driving there's still a lot of electric cars that don't have single pedal driving you've got to use the brake in an ev and i think it's better not to have to do that so one pedal driving is one of the features apparently that this does have. There's a shelf below the touchscreen as well that provides an obvious place to put your smartphone. Um, that's might You might want to use that for navigation potentially. That would probably make sense. Now, what else do we know? There is no charging ports to recharge your phone. So this is very much a budget car. The rear seats will fold flat, providing a 50-50 split to maximize practicality. And there is a vehicle to load that enables you to use the N1 to power your house. If there was a power outage, 